Hello, I am your host, Darth. Darth Deadpool, I'm filling in for Sean Hannity and, um, what's his name? Alex Jones, uh, this evening. So, bear with me. I got big shoes to fill. Sean Hannity, man, he's been on the news for whew, so long. You know, he's so smart. And, and, and Alex Jones, I mean, I mean, boy, oh boy, what, what a journalist, you know? But they don't even come close to Rachel Maddow. Oh boy, Rachel Maddow, she's a real, she's a keeper for sure. Uh, I don't, I don't know. I kind of have a crush on Don Lemon and Chris Cuomo and Brian Stelzer. They're all my favorite a news anchors. And um, I, I know I'm getting off topic here, but again, it's me, Darth. This is Pool News filling in for Fox News's Bill O'Reilly, Sean Hannity, and newcomer Alex Jones. None of them could be here this evening, so I'm here to entertain you. Now that that terrible and lengthy intro is out of the way, we can get down to business. Can you hear me? I didn't have my mic. I didn't have my microphone. Hello? All right, perfect. Yeah, so anyway, um, recently there's been a lot of talk about taking away the Second Amendment, and I'm just curious. What's going to happen when the millions of legal registered gun owners don't turn on their guns? I'll tell you, they'll become felons. And when they're felons, they'll become arrested. So you're going to put innocent, law-abiding citizens into prisons if they don't turn on their guns. That would be the end game. But of course, they're never going to let that happen. They're going to fucking fight and shoot to the death to protect that Second Amendment. But say you did take all the guns, right? Well, I see guns kind of like drugs. What do you do if they're illegal? The law-abiding citizens won't purchase illegal firearms, but the bad guys will. So essentially, either way, the bad guys will get the guns. And the good guys will have nothing to defend themselves. The Second Amendment was brought into action to protect and arm American citizens in case of a tyrannical government came to be, that they could fight back. Another reason to have a gun or a firearm, I don't mean you need to carry it around. You don't have to conceal carry, for Christ's sake, but just keep it in your home is to protect yourself. What happens if somebody wants to come in and rape and murder my daughter? Now, I don't have a daughter. But there's a lot of daughters out there that could be raped or murdered. What say you? That's what I thought. It's just like drugs. Cocaine is highly illegal. It's a class A drug, whatever that means. It's like one of the worst you can get caught with, right? Well, if I made just a few phone calls, I could find me some cocaine. I don't do the shit that often, but I don't. But that's going down a different path. My point is, the point is, you can't disarm legal gun owners. You just can't. Look, if somebody tries to take my gun, I'm going to f fucking shoot them. Right in the heart with a Cupid's arrow. And I'm going to make them love me forever. I would never hurt another human being unless they were trying to break into my home and kill me. Then I will absolutely fucking end them. Now you see why I like to keep a gun. Just in case, you know. I'm very, uh... Controversial. I'm very anti-political correctness. I swear a lot. I make racist comments and remarks, but I'm not racist. I believe a joke is a joke. And not everybody thinks everything is funny. Thanks for tuning in. I'm your host, Alex Jones. Have a good night.